Hello everybody, welcome. This is Natalia. For today, I'm going to have some fall DIYs, very simple and affordable ideas. I'm going to start with this uh, wooden decor that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the fabric and the heart. For this I'm going to use this scrap uh, paper that I got from Hobby Lobby, I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to continue by gluing with my patch. I needed to cut a little bit the edges of this paper so that way it can fit in the house. Now I'm going to use one of these uh, rounding signs from Target that I had it for a long time. I'm going to put it in the center, then I'm going to use some of these picks and I'm going to decorate the top of the house. I'm going to add one of these little mini decor pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. With this um, wooden sign that I did while last year, I'm going to just make a little makeover. I'm going to change the color by um, adding my white chalk paint. Then I'm going to remove the decals. Next, I'm going to decorate my sign by using this pick.
I got this pack of clip pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use two of them. I'm going to make a riser by using this mini cube cutting board that I got from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to give it a coat of my white chuck paint. Then I'm going to use one of those rubbing stickers from Dollar Tree. Before I add the rubber stickers, I'm going to distress at the edges of the cutting board. I'm going to choose the word family and some of this leaf. Lastly, I'm going to glue this mini wooden cube and then I'm going to use a clear wax to seal my decor. I got this pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I like the color, but I want something more darker. For this, I'm gonna use cinnamon and yellow color from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna combine or mix them together. Then I'm gonna uh, paint the pumpkin once I finish. Actually, I'm not gonna um, dry it completely. I want to use this technique of using um, baking soda. I'm gonna rub it all around the pumpkin and it's gonna have a different texture. As a stamp, I was planning to use one of these in the table, but then at the end, I changed my mind and I used a twig that I got from Nausa. Next, I'm going to use this um, wooden decor from Dollar Tree. I really like the decor, but I want to make some changes. I'm going to give it a coat of my white chalk paint to cover the letters. 
and then I'm going to use the, some of these rubber stickers again and then I'm going to just paint the handles with the same paint that I used for my pumpkin. I picked this uh, Happiness is Homemade, I think it goes perfectly with this decor. I make a little mistake here, but still I'm going to use this uh, leaf to decorate it, so it's going to cover the mistake. I'm going to use this terracotta pad that I got in on, on a garage sale. It was a, a, a holder candle and I re just removed the candle, I clean it and then I'm going to use it for my planter. But first I'm going to use this technique of uh, a little bit of white chalk paint and a little bit of wax. I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to rub it with um, towel paper at the same time. I'm going to repurpose this foam that I got from the old planter. I'm going to use it for my pad and then I'm going to use these picks that I got from Dollar Tree. I really love the muni colors. I went back to look for more but I couldn't find it. I think it looks pretty. Now I'm going to add one of these clip pumpkin leftover. I'm going to use the same technique for this uh, wooden pumpkin decor that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to dry it with a towel and then I'm going to use one of these um, rubber stickers again. Now I'm going to distress the edges of this pumpkin. Now I'm going to use the Roman sticker with the word family is everything. I'm 
I'm gonna glue this uh, Jenga wood in the back part of the pumpkin that way it can stand. This is a simple DIY. I got this tray from the Dollar Tree and the wallpaper as well. I'm gonna just place it inside of the tray. I got this wooden tag from Dollar Tree. I'm going to decorate it with um, the little piece of wall decor that I left over from my tray. I'm going to just place it at the edge of the tag, but first I'm going to give it a coat of my white chalk paint. And again, I'm going to use my clear wax. Next, I'm going to use this wooden cube from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to create a pumpkin. First, I'm going to um, paint it with my white chalk paint, followed by these stickers from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to add the word fall. Once I finish with the clear wax, I'm going to add this stem. This is a real stem from a pumpkin that I recycle. I'm going to use this a styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree in a fabric that I got it from there as well. I'm going to remove the center part, then I'm going to continue by tuck in the fabric into the pumpkin.
Here again, I'm using a real stem. For my last DIY, I'm going to use this uh, pumpkin container from the Dollar Tree. I repaint the stem a little bit. I'm going to use these two candles. I'm going to put in my boil pan and I'm going to melt it. Once I finish, I'm going to use the wick and I'm going to um, put it in the container and I'm going to pour the candle and that's all I did. Okay friends, this is all for today. I hope this simple, easy and affordable DIYs give you some ideas for your fall decors. Thank you so much for watching this video and I see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.